hello hello I'm back again and today I want to tell you why I have two black coach rogue bags and also discuss the reason which is the leathers basically I'm gonna chat all about the it is gorgeous it's got like a grain it's quite a natural finish I don't know if you can see but just the texture of the leather is quite well pebbly quite frankly and that is the pebble leather Coach uses leather a lot. It's one of the reasons I love Coach so much. I think they do a pebble leather just so beautifully. It's so equestrian, it's so lovely, it's so natural, it's so thick and chunky, just gorgeous. So, that's great. However, I have another black Coach robe bag, exactly the same size. However, this one is in lambskin leather and it's got the studded rivety chevron quilted detail now i got this one first i thought it was gorgeous i thought i really wanted a black coach rogue bag because i have i have it in two other colors the pink and the red and i thought i'd really love it in black i think it'd be really useful and i loved the chevron quilting i loved i just loved it all i love the gun metal i love the rivets i love the studs i love it all the only thing is it's delicate like all lambskin leather it's delicate because it's just so untreated and lovely and soft and it's a softness that makes it so wonderful but it's a softness that makes it so fragile and I have to say the Rogue is the kind of bag that I use a lot I throw around I take on the train I put on the floor or on my seat and I just I have used this bag I know it looks like phenomenal condition but that's because I look after it so, so carefully. Whereas my other coach row bag, I kind of throw around a lot. Like I am not careful with them. But this one, because of the lambskin nature, I do feel like I have to be very careful. And it's turned into my special occasion rogue. However, the coach rogue black pebble leather, I feel a lot more comfortable with. I don't mind the fact that it's got slightly bent edges now I don't mind the fact that like I don't know you can just see I've used it like it still looks great it's not perfect anymore and I love that and I think it will age better I can do this with my nail but I'm not nervous whereas I wouldn't even attempt that with the other bag I feel like I can throw this one around I can be not careful with it I can just enjoy it and use it and make it that that rogueness that makes it so special so I wanted to do a quick video because as much as I adore the lambskin leather, which I do, I do feel like this one has a slightly smarter look and I feel very nervous about using it. Whereas this one, I feel like I can use without being worried about it. Also, this one was more expensive. This one was about 1,000, maybe 1,100. Whereas this one was actually on sale at Brand Alley. God, it was really cheap. It was like 400 pounds, I think it was, from Brand Alley. So get yourself down to Brand Alley because it's amazing. But yes, this was way cheaper. And actually, I think the leather is a lot more practical. And part of me actually thinks it's a bit more casual as well, which I kind of like, because I feel like I'm a casual kind of gal. And I don't know, I just thought I would discuss it because I think we're always so tempted to go for the bag, which we think looks the best in the here and now. And I think in the here and now, this one probably looks better and a bit cooler. But I think in long term, this one is by far the winner. Also price wise, it's the winner too. But yes, I thought I would share a few thoughts because this one is delicate. It was more expensive. It's gorgeous, but it's delicate. And if you want to be that person who throws their bag around and doesn't need to have an extra seat at the table to put the bag on the chair, then, you know, this bag is the one. I think it's brilliant. There are obviously different finishes of coach bags. I love the monogrammed signature canvas. I think that's great. It's really hard wearing. It looks really good. It's just a very cool, very now, very fashionable finish. I don't know if it will last as long as the leather um, in terms of like wearability and fashion. I think the leather will always age better. But I do also think that this leather, the pebble leather, will look wonderful for a lot longer and also this is the kind of leather that you can polish up and it will just get better and the patina will get more and more beautiful whereas this one is just gonna get a little bit scruffy i dare i say it i still love this bag i'm still happy with it i still think it's gorgeous i love the studying i love the quiltedness i think it's fabulous i'm still so happy i own it 
but I'm very careful with that. I don't use it very often. Whereas this bag, I just feel comfortable and confident with because with my other coach bags, I can be a little bit more reckless with it. I have the pink one, which I probably use the most, that probably looks the most worn by now, but it still looks great. And I have polished it up and it looks, it looks like it's been revitalized. And also the red one still looks amazing. And again, that's the pebble leather. I'm all about the pebble leather. Anyway, I thought I would stop by and tell you if you are considering a Rogue, I personally would recommend the pebble leather rather than one of the fancier finishes like the ones with the flowers all over or the ones in the lambskin leather like I have. Pebble leather all the way. And yeah, the Rogue for the win. It's the best bag. I love the shape. I think it's, I think it's the best bag. I think it's incredible. I've done some other videos about the Coach Rogue bag. If you want to look, you can click here. And for now, that is everything. Thank you very much. Goodbye.